Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right-hand corner, we have BSL Mighty as the Red Terran. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Laser Snipe, who is, again, CPL awesome dude. I think he is also involved with Rogue's Gallery. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I'm trying to remember all of the Rogue's Gallery staff off the top of my head, but having difficulty doing so. This is on Eclipse. Game 1, going to Mighty with a very nice timing push, and a special shout-out to 2001 Toyota Corolla in Twitch Chat Live catching this. He's been watching ASL again and is coming back to the Diggity cast and was like, I'll just, I'll do one really quick for you. Just felt like doing this one, kind of settling before going to bed, clear my mind. I don't know, there's kind of a nice zen about casting StarCraft these days. Feels good. Anyway, pile on down for Snipe, doesn't look like he's going to go for anything cheesy. This is a two-player map, which makes it a little bit more challenging to pull off anything ultra sneaky because you, well, I guess there's debate about that. Mighty, interestingly enough, putting a supply depot. So rather than going for the lower ground, he's actually flat out putting a supply depot on the top of his ramp to blockade things, which suggests to me that he is in fact going for something sneaky here, that he wants to go ahead and deny that early scout to put laser snipe in the dark and play the match out from there. Or maybe he's just ultra concerned. Oh, actually I take that back. I guess this is an okay wall. I don't think that's... Huh. I haven't seen this before. I'll put it that way. Usually, what players will do is they will build it up here. But this perhaps has the added advantage that it might block that probe scout. I think barracks on the left is... I'm trying to remember the old adage. It's like, <laughs> you know, left, righty tighty, lefty loosey. I think it's lefty tighty, righty loosey for barracks and supply depots, though. Refinery is plopping down. Midway through, and wow, 12 Nexus right off the bat for Laser Snipe. So, Mighty, sealing his front door in, is going to have a delayed scout on top of everything else, I think, because of this. And, so it's not, so actually, I take it back. It's not, it's not sealed tight. So it's lefty whatever. <laughs> the old adage is not true here. Um, and actually, it's not even pixel sealed there. So Supply Depot's up. Let's see if this probe can get through. I'm kind of curious. No. Probe, probe is in fact blockaded. Also, I think the other problem here is the Marines, I believe they, well, I think they produce either right, yeah, they should produce on that corner. So this is an interesting front door. I haven't seen that before. But, now Mighty's going to come across. He's going to see this Nexus warping in. Let's see how he decides to react. He only has a single SCV on gas currently, which is going to slow down the initial factory. I think he was thinking about doing an in-base command center. And usually, what you want to do, usually, Assimilator and Gateway, by the way, to follow this, is when you see this, you want to immediately get some more SCVs and gas, plop down a factory, and do some sort of push to try to punish this. He does have a factory building right now. Let's see if he plops down a second factory on top of it. I know Flash has a very particular push that he likes executing against this in particular, and it looks like he actually even canceled a Marine, I think, to get that factory down a little bit. No, actually, sorry, he's canceling the Marine to get more minerals to get the command center down a little bit faster. Interesting. Couple zelts being produced out of the gateway with the cybernetics core, and actually the way everything's lining up. First of all, I think Snipe first has a sizable economic advantage. This Nexus was that's what happens when you do 12 Nexus. Because Mighty is not opting to punish it as well, and was really not sending anything out to punish it. This is just first initial vulture now, and I think there's gonna be a dragoon in not too long to go ahead and deal with it. Vultures can out micro zealots and provide a bit of punishment in that regard. They might be able, so getting initial probe kill, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to get much else. Let's see if the Zealots opt to actually block the ramp, if these probes pull off to block the ramp, or if they're just gonna wait for this Dragoon to provide some support. I'm almost wondering if a couple probes get bled, out, bled off by Mighty. Already got that one probe kill just getting that scout. If he's just gonna dive into that probe line, the Zealots need to engage one, another probe down, and yeah, I can just scoot right back into the main. The Dragoon should be able to engage here, but the question is, Two Dragoons should be able to engage here, but the question is, is how many probes die in the meantime? And it looks like not quite able to get the shot. Does manage to get catch that third probe. Four Vulture. The Vulture able to get four probe kills. Still, though, overall, this is should give Snipe, if he keeps up with his, micro, uh, his, his macro, the economic lead overall. Command Center is finished for Mighty on the opposite side of the map, but with those Dragoons out in the field. He's going to have to be kind of careful doing this. Looks like he's going to try to use mines defensively to try to secure this. Plopping down, is that a bunker? Yeah, plopping down a bunker as well, not putting anything in it. So he's relying on laser snipe more or less playing defensively. 
with his 12th Nexus and worry, being worried about Vultures to go ahead and establish his command center positioning. And honestly being, well, I guess he can get away with it because he knew unit positioning here, but a little bit risky. A little bit risky, I feel like. Especially considering he doesn't have any Marines to go into this at all. So basically what could happen is, this, this is all theoretical here, but Laser Snipe could have used the Cell to clear mines, had the Dragoons sweep up behind, and then just started doing some annoying stuff behind that inside the base. Range is finishing up. Robotics facility plopping down a third and fourth gateway. Will be up for my or uh sorry for laser snipe momentarily. I think he's waiting on 150 resources to go ahead and plop that down. He has gotten a second assimilator here. And very wisely, I like what Mighty's done here. He's already placed that vulture here at the nine o'clock position just in case Laser Snipe was thinking about going for a more aggressive economic sort of play. Mighty has actually stayed right on top of that macro, though, and he is at 31 SCVs. So a very good position. That's a very well-saturated natural expansion. He's plopped down two additional factories. So despite the 12 Nexus, I almost feel like Mighty is coming ahead here in this mid-game. Getting that armory, and I think he's going to start also grabbing that academy just in case. Needs some sort of detection in case uh, DTs were on the way. He doesn't have indication of that just yet. Citadel of Dune warping in. Robotics facility producing that initial observer. And the vulture sweeping around. No mines. So just camping that vulture right there. Also using this vulture to go ahead and check out that bottom right hand base. I think what Mighty's going to do from this stage is probably play that two base. Uh, I think it's 11 minute these days. <laughs> I'm always off on this. I need to memorize my Terran build order timings. But I think it's like that 11, uh, potentially 11 minute one uh, level one weapons uh, attack timing. It's either that or you just sit back wait for, I think it's level 2 weapons, level 1 armor, um, and like 6 factories, and to go for that timing push, which really puts pressure on your pro on the Protoss on the opposite side to either macro things properly or, I don't know, push things that direction. Two, wow, interesting. Gateways being produced, along with that Templar Archives, to get very quick Arbiters off 2 base. So we're going to see a 2 base Arbiter play from Laser Snipe to engage Mighty. Comsat stations plopping down. So this is pretty early Arbiters. Usually you'll see at least a third base before this level of tech is taken. He's also getting Zelt leg speed and producing a shuttle. Initial Comsat firing off. Observer going across that middle of the map seeing spider mines. There's nothing. There's just, there's no anti-air here at all except for that Marine. And even if there was, there's nothing to detect this Observer. So the Observer should get a an eyeful. Get a good look at the army he's up against. Four tanks currently on the ground. This is plenty of Dragoons and Zealots uh, to engage that in a heads-up fight. Has a good look at the factory count. That is a big indicator. And also, he should be able to wander up and see that armory spinning up above. Vulture also. Is this just three Vultures camped at each location? I think it meandered from the bottom right, went to the upper left. A couple Dragoons moving forward. They need to be careful. Going to try to disarm these mines from a distance and get a little bit of map control that direction. So, we do see... The Arbiter, the Arbiter Tribunal warping in. But Mighty is starting to sweep out, doing a little bit of mine planting. And is taking a little bit of map control just in case. I think it's wise to do so. Make sure he doesn't end up getting pinned in. But indicators still point towards... Again, yeah, waiting for that level 1 weapons. And continuing to macro up from there to just kind of push that attack. I think once that's coming, though, there should be an Arbiter out in the field. The thing is, is that will I think that, that will be warping in essentially inside Laser Snipe's base. Laser Snipe clearing out that nine o'clock is going to go ahead and try to plant the Nexus there. Supply counts, he is even, which is not where you want to be as the Protoss. Usually, you want to be about 10, 15 supply ahead. Has some Zealots loaded in that shuttle to do some Zealot bombs on top of the siege tanks, just in case there's an engagement coming. That Arbiter warping in. And Stasis being researched as well. This is interesting. Two-based Arbiter play. Kind of a later third Nexus to opt for that. To deal with this. And now we see those additional factories being planted down. In anticipation of that level 1 weapons completion. And kind of a flood of vultures coming up. But that's a little bit... That's interesting. I'm wondering actually if he's just going to... We'll see. <laughs> might be off on this. Might be a little bit early. Might be a little bit later. He's actually... It looks like grabbing that second factory. So I think he's going to... Instead of going for this um, earlier timing... With the vultures and the siege tanks and pressing out from there, he's instead going to opt for the level 2 weapons, level 1 armor 
upgrade in that timing right there, which is a little bit later. I think somewhere around the 12, 14 minute mark. Uh, ghost actually being produced. Add a covert ops. And maybe this is in it. Wow, this is kind of clever play from Mighty. So I wonder if he's going to opt to go for lockdown to try to deal with this Arbiter. To negate the two base Arbiter play. With this attack that he's pr producing. Level 1 weapons being upgraded, by the way. For laser snipe, he's already behind in that upgrade count. Level 1 weapons versus level 0 weapons overall. Recall also being upgraded. So you can get that Arbiter recall. And, that, and basically... If that ghost is in the right place at the right time and locks down that Arbiter, it, it can negate that. And just, yeah, completely obliterate that tech lead that Laser Snipe had momentarily. I I have not seen that, honestly, in a lot of in any stream. It's very creative. Very sizable army. This is very threatening. We're hitting that 1130 mark, which is usually, and I don't know how, how precise Mighty's timings are, or anything like that. But this is, I think, this is where I've seen that come out before. But he's, again, I think, waiting for that level 2 weapons, level 2 armor. And th the problem with this push for Protoss is just, one, being in position to deal with it. Two, you make any movement mistake, you your entire army gets wrecked. And three, it's like, okay, do you harass them to try to slow it down? Do you try to get an additional base to get a additional macro? What, what sort of tech do you work with, and when do you get it? It's very, very challenging. Science Vessel's also out. So honestly, it's going to come down to some nice stasis from an Arbiter. Somewhere out where I've lost track of the Arbiter. Probe in that bottom right-hand corner is not going to die to that Vulture in the interim. Okay, there's the Arbiter. How much energy does it even have? We'll be able to produce one stasis. No Protective Cloak, though, because Science Vessel's still out there in the field. And Lockdown is, in fact, being researched. Very clever. And I'm almost wondering if a ghost is just going to get posted out here to provide kind of that defensive position. Also a couple Goliaths, just in case. I don't think EMP's been upgraded just yet. Factory's worrying. Finally, Vulture Speed being upgraded. But right now, Mighty, as far as just straight up macro versus macro fight, Mighty has just completely obliterated light Laser Snipe. He's at 172 supply. Actually, Laser Snipe all of a sudden is leaping ahead, but at 161. But I think that's a lot of that, keep in mind, is inside the gateways and is not yet produced. Does have some size storms. Level 2 weapons, level 1 armor just now finishing. Mighty, rather than positioning for an attack, is positioning for more of a macro style game. He's kind of angling up to this 1 o'clock base. Or 12 o'clock base, approximately. So where is this? This would be 12. This is technically 1. Angling up to the 1 o'clock base to go for that for his third. I'm playing a little bit more long-term macro style. But never mind, just repositioning. I take it back. I was like, is he just not going to do this and go for that? No, he is in fact going for that, that timing attack. 13 minutes. Approximately. I think 12 minutes is like perfect. Maybe I'm off all the way around. High Templar waiting right there to maybe do some mind clearing. Hopefully yes, if you're on, on top of it. Some Zealots pushing straight through. The Arbiter is going to be in his back corner. Siege tank sieging up. Is the stasis going to be there? And is the ghost going to be there? Doesn't look like it. Laser snipe's going to go ahead and back off. Couple zealots pushing forward and thinking better of it. Still, Mighty has 200 supply and he has that huge weapon upgrade advantage. So, wow. Snipe just now hitting max supply. And if things continue... As they're going, Laser Snipe is going to take this match because he's already established four bases. And Mighty is still sitting on two. And actually, actually, wow. Getting even greedier, typical Protoss. Trying to sneak a base up bottom right-hand corner. Good side storms across the Vultures, but the High Templar pay for it with their lives. Nice snipe by Mighty to clear that out. He's happy to do that trade. And now pushing up, a couple Dragoons actually getting caught. And yeah, he's just doing the slow push forward. And honestly, this is what is so, so scary. Some Zelts trying to come in from that left angle. Drag some mines in. There's no mines there to drag. Plenty of detection there to deal with it. A nice stasis, but not catching as much. Plus the lockdown on top of the shuttle. That could be the difference. Size Storm all over the siege tanks. 
and Zealots and Dragoons actually going to be able to clean the rest of this army up. Snipe, low on supply, but should be able to resupply fairly quickly and reinforce more Psystorm on that back line. Just barely missing his own Observer. And a nice engagement on his part, despite, again, that level one, or sorry, the general weapons disadvantage. These Vultures should be able to catch, well, I think they should be able to clean these Dragoons up, so should save those tanks. But Laser Snipe sitting on the amount of gateways that he's sitting on, plus the bases he's sitting on, should be able to resupply fairly quickly. Plus the Arbiters are going to come out of stasis. And these over... Well, actually, never mind. Take it back as that shuttle comes out of stasis, immediately gets annihilated by that Goliath. Nice little counter stasis to keep those tanks under wraps. But as that's happening, Laser Snipe is starting to establish these bases, and Mighty's still sitting at two. His main is looking very, very thin. His natural expansion is still mining, but he needs to think about taking additional base, and it's going to be difficult. As long as Laser Snipe stays on top of his macro management with all of these gateways, very much gateway man, and keeps producing these Arbiters, he should end up in a good position. Right now, though, these are some very threatening Vultures. There's only a single cannon to defend this 9 o'clock base. There's two cannons just warping in the bottom right-hand corner, although Mighty does not know about this. So this is basically five base Protoss. Although it should be four base in not too long. That main is going to mine out. Versus what's going to be effectively one and a half base, two base, Terran. Mighty just now taking that one o'clock position. Vulture wandering in does see it, but very quickly gets taken out by the cannon. I don't think he even got a probe kill right there. Coming in late. Critically though, Mighty is doing a pretty good job of staying on top of his macro. He's once again 20 supply ahead, which is exactly where we want to be. An Arbiter moving in to cloak all these probes. Is there going to be a commsat? There's the commsat to try to clear this base out. And this is an overwhelming amount of vultures. The Zealots trying to swing in from underneath. Mines have been planted. That's going to clear a lot of those Zealots out before they're able to provide any form of defense. Arbiter desperately trying to attack from overhead. Good size storm. Well, actually, I take back. Size storm I thought was going to clear those mines. Didn't catch a lot of those mines. Didn't catch any vultures either. So the attack manages to decimate this expansion. However, this expansion is still running. Laser Snipe still has a gigantic bank, and Mighty is starting to fall behind in his overall macro. However, this is a huge, scary army. And critically, I'd like to point out that he is moving his way to, to level 3 weapons, level 2 armor, whereas comparatively, just level 2 weapons for Laser Snipe. Actually, <laughs> Laser 2 weapons, not level 2 weapons, not too bad. Arbiters continue to be produced. Main is looking thin. Should see a resupply there. Still 54 probes for Laser Snipe. And I am very concerned about this expansion in the upper left. Barring a recall, I don't think Laser Snipe has enough units flat on the ground to engage this. Plus, there's that ghost behind to deal with any sort of Arbiter. But is this going to turn into a guerrilla warfare situation where Laser Snipe... Go at, he knows he has a base established in that bottom right. Is he just going to go ahead and end around? Go for a recall in the main? Something along those lines? And try to go for a base race situation, or is he going to opt to try to engage this? Two Arbiters making their way across. That Ghost could be an X Factor here. It does have plenty of energy for Lockdown. Moving forward. One Lockdown firing, keeping the Arbiter behind. This is uncloaked units against a very heavily upgraded. Good Psy Storm. Almost catching. There it catches the Science Vessels. It's going to make the Arbiter more effective. Second Science Vessel still alive there. Good EMP is going to... And that was just all Vultures right there and Siege Chinks on the back line. Really clearing out that army. BSL Mighty, however, falling back to 100 supply. Laser Snipe sitting at 150, and this is where that macro is starting to, to kick in. Dragoons pulling up to reinforce. Mighty needs to take out this 9 o'clock base and honestly start pushing to take another base. He is blindly... Well, actually, I would say blindly. He's got this kind of defended with his forward position that he's attacking with, making his offense, his defense as well, trying to take that 12 o'clock base. I think his upgrades could be what are protecting him in the interim. And also Laser Snipe inability to get kind of a concentrated defense force up into this upper left-hand corner to deal with this encroaching tank army. This is a huge amount of siege tanks. Stasis catching four of the tanks, but I, even with those four tank stasis, I don't think it is sufficient to defend this base. Arbiter trying to do a little bit of damage as well. Now moving forward, plenty of comsat to catch the cloak. The Zealot's getting on top of the forward siege tanks, but the Vulture's there as well. A little bit of Psystorm, but it needed to be 
I think further back and catching more of these Siege Tanks overall. Nice spread by Mighty overall to those Siege Tanks eating some Psy Storm. And, but Laser Snipe continuing to press forward. And another good set of Stasis on that backland tanks. Wow, that's seven Siege Tanks under Stasis. Which is going to allow him to clean this up. Now, is this going to get spotted out where Laser Snipe can... Uh, he's sending out an Exploratory Zealot. That's getting caught by Vultures. So, blind right there. Trying to rescue these Siege Tanks. Arbiter is there. Ooh, Psy Storming is... Uh, almost Psy Stormed his own Observers. Missing the Vultures as they're able to sneak through. And it looks like he is going to be able to rescue... Two Siege Tanks. Two Siege Tanks. And that Arbiter <laughs> pounding away in the meantime. Mighty down to just 90 supply comparatively. But he's really making it work. Very low on his bank. You can see the minerals are just constantly staying at zero. He's in trouble. Laser Snipe's problem is he just hasn't been able to get his army fielded. That is a lot of Zealots. Where he really wants it. If he sends Zealots either to the 1 o'clock or 12 o'clock location, might be able to get something done here. It looks like Vulture finally sneaking down, finding that bottom right-hand base. That's got to be frustrating for Mighty. Main's mined out now for Laser Snipe. His natural expansion's also mined out. Needs to transfer those probes. 9 o'clock's up. 10 o'clock's up. And he is just now establishing this additional base in that bottom right-hand corner. Mighty going to head and it's going to try to seal up and regather. But here's the thing. Laser Snipe is approaching 200 supply. And eventually he's going to start going on the offensive here. This is a lot of vultures. Not quite in position to sneak down. I don't think they're aware. Might have seen a compsat across here. There's only a single Dragoon to block that ramp and that's not going to last very long. Laser Snipe repositioning his army. An observer kind of checking out what's going on in that base. Catching a couple siege tanks, open and vulnerable, splitting the map in half. Now Laser Snipe has some options. Vulture is sneaking in. I don't think, well, they might be able to take out that Nexus unopposed. But while that's happening, good stasis. Ghost managed to catch that Arbiter. Good Psy Storms. Well, Psy Storm only catching, well, catching the Science Vessel. That could be huge. I think Science Vessel still detect with stasis and the Arbiter is locked down anyway. Zealots cleaning up these back siege tanks, and that's leaving that command center completely exposed. Some siege tanks trying to provide some defense, but they're going uphill, meaning they have that misfire chance. SCVs also eating some lightning from the sky from those high Templar. That Nexus was taken out in that bottom right-hand base, but in the overall exchange, being that Laser Snipes at 160-something supply, and Mighty is dropped to 63, I think he's happy to go ahead and take that exchange. Plus, he's already re-established this base in the bottom right-hand corner. And I don't see any army. This is a very thin army for late, for Mighty. Archon, a handful of Zealots, and a couple Dragoons moving in here. Only Vultures there to provide any form of defense. And the Command Center lifting off. SEVs flooding out desperately. Archon bugging out a little bit, not able to get some free shots could have really devastated this line. That is a lot of SCVs in flight. And now Mighty is no longer mining. Pulling that command center back. He has 600 minerals to his name. And is otherwise completely not mining. I expect to see GG. But here, going to be able to catch a lot of High Templar in free field. Doing some desperate side storms. Again, a better exchange for Mighty overall. So doesn't have a lot of minerals to work with. But with what he has, he's doing a pretty good job. Everything cleaned up. Honestly, all Laser Snipe needs to do at this stage is continue to macro. Mighty trying to distance mine, but he's distance mining right into some Archons and some Zealots. So I don't think he's going to get a lot accomplished there. Down to 54 supply versus 185. Still desperately trying to stay in this match, though. And again, this is just... The only reason this is not over, in my opinion, is the fact that Laser Snipe with his macro, has just not been able to get his armies out in the field. He's been playing Gateway Man. He's got plenty of gateways back here. Stargate's been producing constantly. Just now getting level weapons 3 upgrade. Another lockdown there on the front. But really, it's just he hasn't had a concentrated army to just finish it. Just do the Mortal Kombat move. Do the Mocking Uppercut. Etc, etc. Zealot's moving into that SCV line. 
Siege tanks are going to get wiped out fairly effectively. And Dragoon's starting to peel things up. There's GG from Mighty, finally. So game two, going to Laser Snipe. One apiece. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Wow, got the raid from Artosis, I'm noticing, as we come back. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for listening. I will engage with Twitch chat now.